folks, Rob here, and in this video, we're going to be shooting the Heritage Barkeep boot. Now, I have us two targets set up down there at uh, this work five yards, because as you can see, this little gun has no front sight, so it's not a uh, target pistol by any means. I have us loaded up here with uh, six rounds of the uh, uh, Federal Auto Match, and uh, we're going to shoot at the right hand target with that. And then we're going to put in uh, the magnum cylinder that come with my other bird's head. And uh, we're going to shoot some magnums through this and see what it does with magnums. Now this little gun, it does have the problem of keyhole. This is a up-close belly gun. This is a... Uh, I don't think anybody would practically carry this for self-defense. I mean, I guess you could. But uh, I don't think it would be your best option. But... Uh, Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna put a few rounds down there at five yards, and uh, see what she does. So this is the uh, uh, Federal Auto match, five yards. our federal auto match oh, I didn't shoot one I missed one I guess I only put five on that one I thought I shot six so let's put this six one in there I may have went past it I did Should be right there. All right, there was our six uh, Federal Auto match. Let's see what uh, it's unloaded here. We only got one in it. All right, let's put six more down there. Seems to shoot a little high. Of course, you don't have a front sight, so there's really no way to know where you're. But I tend to aim toward the lower part of the target and uh, am hitting higher up on it. So uh, it seems to be shooting a little high, at least in the way I'm holding it. Six more auto match. That's got us a dozen auto match on the right hand target. Now let's change out our cylinder. And to do that, you push your pin, your little uh, screw right here, which holds your cylinder latch. Open your cylinder, take out the cylinder. And I'm going to put in the magnum and we'll load us up with some CCI uh, 22 magnums. So I have us loaded up with uh, the CCI Maxi Mag Varmint. These are 40 grand hollow points. So we're going to be shooting at the left hand target with these. So uh, Heritage does not recommend shooting magnums through this gun. Just for the reason that uh, the extra velocity will cause the rounds to keyhole. They will not stabilize. So we're going to, but we found that to be the case in a, several of the uh, just the regular 22. So, although looking down there at the target doesn't look like a lot of them keyhole on this uh, shooting, but let's put the magnum to it and see what it does. Quite a bit louder, but honestly, I'm not seeing any keyhole in down there. That one's tight. Those magnums come out hard. Let's put a six more through. 
Okay, I have us loaded up with uh, six more rounds of the CCI Maxi Mags uh, hollow points. And honestly, guys, these don't appear to be shooting real bad in this gun. Let's put six more rounds down there on the left hand target. Those magnums are definitely harder to punch out. Those are definitely harder to punch out. Uh, let's take you down there and let you take a look at it and we'll see what we got down there. Right here's a 22 long rifle. Now we could have had a couple keyhole, I'm not sure. Uh, I was shooting high. And there's supposed to be 12 rounds there, but uh, don't look like I hit it 12 times. I think I was shooting over top in the uh, beginning. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the uh, Federal Auto Match right there. And uh, I'll move us over and we'll look at the, uh, actually the Magnum shot pretty daggone good. So here's our target with our 22 Magnums. And I got one two three four seven eight nine ten eleven so maybe one went over no twelve one two so guys i see absolutely no evidence of keyholing on those 22 magnums matter of fact they seem to be punching a cleaner hole than the federal auto match so i don't know where uh they get this uh this one does look maybe but no it's it's definitely not keyhole so anyway guys that's uh, kind of blows the myth that you can't shoot the magnums at least the cci uh, magnums to it because it, it actually shoots them pretty good at five yards so possibly better than the uh the 22 lrs let me set you up here and we're going to sh take six more shots over here with the 22. Try to bring the rounds down. I'm going to let you see if you can see any evidence of keyholing on them. All right, guys, I'm going to put six more rounds of auto match on this. I'm going to aim lower toward the bottom of the target, try to get them on papers. It looks like I'm, I'm shooting high overall. So uh, let's see if I can put uh, six on paper and y'all can watch it. And again, we're five yards. And I don't know how many of them hit on target, but I was aiming right here. So if you're using this for a defensive gun, you'd want to aim about the belly button to hit up in the chest area. So, like I said, I don't think anybody would uh, actually carry this as a defensive handgun. But, you know, a snake gun or something like that, a backpack gun uh, with some snake shot in it, probably be awesome. If I can find some snake shot, we'll do some. But, uh, anyway, guys, that's... That's kind of a look at what we get with the uh, Heritage Barkeep boot. Uh, let's finish this up and we'll surmise. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at our targets here. We just come in and uh, what we have here is our target we shot the auto match with. And, uh, you know, I do see a little bit of evidence of keyholing in some of these, but... Uh, you know, the first 12 I took, shots I took, I was aiming more in this vicinity right here. And then the last six I took with you all pointed at the camera were aimed more of an aim point down here. Uh, so, you know, uh, the auto match doesn't shoot really great in it. But what surprises me is that uh, 
you know, Heritage specifically says that you shouldn't shoot 22 Magnums in the, uh, the, uh, boot. But from my target here, it actually shot better than the 22 Auto Match. Look at every one of them holes is perfectly round. No keyholing whatsoever. I was aiming at this aim point right here. And, uh, it, uh, went uh they were a little high still but not as not as high as what i think the uh, others were so i mean that kind of debunks the whole thing about the uh you know the uh magnum's not shooting well with it because that was the cci um maxi mags the uh, hollow points but yeah they shot great so i mean that makes a whole difference in this little gun i mean basically that takes it from a gun you really can't hit with at keyholes, uh, and they may not do that with every ammunition. We'll just have to we'll have to test some more through it and see. But with the CCI uh, Maxi Mags uh, specifically, because and that's just twelve rounds. So, but uh, hey, those shoot great. Like I said, I was aiming by here. You know, this is a one point six eight barrel with no front sight. So, I mean, you're at five yards. And, uh, you know, I think that done pretty good. So that kind of tells you that, yes, this will shoot magnums and possibly shoot them better than it will a 22 long rifle. Now, like I said, I don't know that to be the case with all 22 long rifles. Further testing will uh, fill that out. So anyway, guys, I thought this would be an interesting little video. We'd shoot some magnums through this thing and see how they done. Uh, Give me a thumbs up if you think this video is deserving of it, and uh, leave a comment. I'd like to hear what you have to think about it. And if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. We appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, we'll see you guys later.